You guys got like superheroes on your freshman team. I heard it's one of the most talented freshman teams ever last year and this year. What's it like juggling all that young talent? Uh, we just keep them working hard and keep them humble. And a lot of them in the classroom are doing what I can. So that's discipline. Just managing all this talent and stuff, all these blowouts, like how do you keep the team hungry? I try to get all the kids in the game. They play a lot. You know, you got ones, twos, three, just go down the line. Keep them, keep them humble and, and I make them work hard to practice. You might not understand. Yeah. They work real hard at practice. Yeah, you, you be getting in them, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. They out there pushing 300 pounds sleds. That's why they pushing people around. <laughs> people don't understand that. Guys, everybody keeps talking about these Cesar Chavez freshman teams. The 22s last year and now the 23s. Our freshman last year did a great job. Went undefeated. Our team now, which is great. Can't wait to get play with each other. Is there any pressure following up last year's act that absolutely dominated everybody? Um, I don't think so. I think we just go to war. We do how we do. Handle business. What's your favorite class or who's your favorite teacher? My favorite class is probably writing. I'm good at writing. Yeah? yeah. Telling stories? Yeah. Hey, well, tell me the story. What's going to happen in this game tonight? Um, I'm going to get this. Y'all gonna reset this scoreboard? Yeah. I know one of your brothers is up on uh, Varsity, John Butler. You know, do you ever miss uh, having him around for practices or things like that? I mean, yeah, but I'm gonna be up there with him soon. So. Does he give you any advice, any mentorship? Like, what has he told you guys? You know. I mean, uh, yeah. I've been playing with him for a minute, so he's been helping me out a lot. What is one of your favorite classes, or who's one of your favorite teachers that's had an impact on you this year? Mr. Irwin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he helped me like be able to play. He, he helped me with my, like, a lot of my work and stuff. What do you love about this freshman team so much and being a part of it? Well, I mean, I've only known him for like a year, but it feels like I've known him my whole life. Okay. And, you know, how excited are you to get this opportunity to, you know, follow up last year's 2022 class that absolutely dominated everybody? Very excited. And I got to know off the record, man, and on the record, you know, could this team take the 2022 team from last year? Yes. Yes, we can. We want all the smoke. And how do you guys compete with some of these other teams that got that got that big reputation, the Chandlers and the Hamiltons? How bad do y'all want to see them? We want to see them bad. We just practice hard every day and just put it work. All right, man. Hey, we got to set that game up. Hamilton, Chandler, which one do you want? Hamilton. We can play Wyatt. You're going to come out here taking some of this 2023 action. Yes, sir. Who are some of your favorite players on this 2023 team? We got Xavier West, like, like my little cousin right there. We got Bill, AJ, number one. Speedster around the edge. We got the quarterback, that's my boy too. I know you've been playing in the Valley. I know that you was up north a little bit. And I know that you've been around talent. Have you ever seen a collection of talent like this? Honestly, I haven't. If they stay together, they'll be they'll be a force to reckon with. Y'all look like you in the top half of that 6A playoffs, you know. How excited are you to possibly get to see, you know, your boy Jack Miller or, you know, some of these tough teams from the west side like Shadow Ridge? That's the team we want right there. We want them Firebirds right there. They want, they don't want us during the season, so we want them in the playoffs. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, you want all that smoke, all huh? All the smoke. Hey, we got to talk about this drip. We got to talk about oh, this yeah, so right here. So it was Neon Day, Spirit Week. You know your boy running for homecoming king, so you know hey. I have the in the food. You feel me? Hold up. Stop the eggs right there. Just quick drip, quick drip. Yes, sir. Hey, you move down these stairs like you ain't never did stairs before. What's going on, my guy? <laughs> I've seen you on the field, so I know you move fast. Did you guys have leg workouts today? Today was squat, so it was crazy. All right, my man, check down, King. You already know what it is. This season's been absolutely bananas for you. Top 20 in passing. You're putting them rushing yards up. What's been your favorite part of the season so far? Uh, the relationship with all the teammates. We're all connected. We're a family. Hey, you got to pick a favorite group, though. You got to pick your favorite brothers. Is it your old linemen or is it your receivers that are catching the ball? It's gonna have you got to pick one. Lineman. It's my old lineman. I got to rock them all. Hold on. They're going to they they do that and I'll be getting sacked. So I can't, I can't not go against that. All your little brothers out here, what can I expect to see on the scoreboard? I'm curious. What is the prediction from the check down king? Uh, Steven's going to go crazy. What's some advice that you've given him? Me and him have gone out, thrown the ball together a couple times. He's solid. He's a great quarterback. He's just got to get his mind in the game, learn the playbook. I think he'll be good. His junior year, he's going to start, definitely. For sure. Yeah. For oh, sure. Yeah. I'll pencil in that. And when you in college, balling. When you're in college balling, I'm going to come back and talk to you about that. <laughs> I hear it's the best group of 23s in the state. What makes the group so special? Well, these coaches coach at a varsity level. Uh, the coaching staff, to be, believe it or not. So Coach Porsche and the crew, they, um, they coach at a really high level. So uh, I got to leave it there with that. Ooh. Who should I be looking forward to seeing the most? I know that uh, Xavier West is out, but Arkeza, I think he's one of the most talented 23s yeah. in the state. 
Uh, Speedy is a wide receiver that I think, you know, could see some varsity time, yep. special teams next year, maybe check in at wide receiver. Who, who should I be looking forward to seeing? You got Jalen Scott, a running back that's a stud that's going to be absolutely monster, monster kid right now. He probably could play a little varsity if we wanted to, too, but we're trying to let him grow up a little slower. And, you know, we, I mean, there's so many good kids out there, man. I can't name them all. They're, they're all good kids, man. How, how, how many are you going to pull up for the end of the season? Because it's about oh, that time. It's about that, least, hey, it's about that Halloween time for you where you get to trick or treat. It's five, man, and those five are going to play. One, two, three. One, two, three. Five, out of Cesar Chavez. Uh, they were up 29 to nothing over Brown. Uh, Steven Rakiz is the absolute dude. Um, Jose Rivera at wide receiver, an absolute talent. I can't wait to break them down in the next few years. Anyways, um, I'm over here at Mountain Point. I'm going to check out this Mountain Point Desert Ridge 2023 game. Uh, hopefully I can catch up with uh, some of the coaches and players and stuff like that. Uh, your boy Chili. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the vlog JustChili.tv and follow your guy on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat at JustChili. <laughs> He is going, going, and he's gone for the prize touchdown. And you know who is it? Miss for the prize touchdown.
He's off to the races. It's Wait again down the left sideline. Going, going in. I know how you get down. Yep. Uh, take it in this 2023 game on the road. Something you do often? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, we try. You know, I, out here, I always come out and support our kids. I think I missed like three games in 10 years. So. Okay, yeah, wow. Definitely. Hey, that's good to know. You know, cause, <laughs> well, because a lot of kids always wonder, you know, does the head varsity coach just watch the home games or does right. he actually go to the road games? Like, how invested is he? Like, I always have these parents asking me that stuff. So it's good to know that you uh, I think it's important. Kids. I mean, you got to show your face and know, these kids got to know that you love them, regardless of what the record is, good or bad. So. Hey, well, speaking of records, uh, you guys were 2 and 4. And then you guys reeled off these two big victories versus uh, Queen Creek and Dutch Vista. Uh, what have you been feeding the kids that got them right right now? Uh, Cole is playing like an animal. Uh, yeah. Aiden Lee's playing like an animal. Uh, talk to me about your boys. You know, our kids, uh, I think they're they're a place where they just believe in what we're doing, you know, and I think kind of shaking a little bit of the rust from last year. Kids like Coach Machidi is to be 5-1 or 4-2, and, they, you know, we just corrected the little things, and, you know, I think our defense is finally starting to play. We moved John Butler to safety, which helps a little fight. He's the captain out there. Jakari's going off uh, on sacks, and you're right, AD and Cole are doing their thing, and, and they're surrounded by other good receivers, too, so, and our offensive line starting to eat a little bit, so it's Nice. Currently seated 10. How do you see yourself in this 6-8 uh, playoffs? And does it even matter with the way you guys are playing right now? So, I, yeah, it's a good question. I, I really don't look at it, honestly, until like maybe next week, and then I kind of have an idea. But honestly, Mountain Point, they have great defense, and we're not looking past them right now. I'm super intrigued by your situation, um, you know, having played for your dad and, you know, being the coach's son. And you're very, very invested with these kids and stuff like that. I watch your mannerisms and body language on the sidelines and stuff. Where, where does it all come from? Like, how, how far do you want to take this? Um, head, I would love to be a head coach someday. I mean, that's the Wellbrock Bowl. We gonna get that. We gonna get that, that live be, on the vlog. Yeah, the that would be, Bowl. That'd be fun for me. I would love that. Um, just biggest thing is making an impact. Um, but I'm gonna keep talking about it. Coach Thomas, same like Coach Thomas made an impact on kids throughout the valley. I want to do half of that. If I do half of that, I feel like I've done a pretty good job. So it's really all I really want, I and mean, that's kind of where I'm at. What's your favorite thing about coaching these kids? Them, really. Just being able to be around them every day, being able to impact them, being able to joke with them. I mean, we're around pretty, still pretty close to the same age with me being pretty young, so being able to uh, see them and watch them evolve, watch them grow just the same way I did not even a couple years ago. It's really exciting for me, and I love that. Hey, man, I, I think your future is huge in the coaching game, and I, can, I can't wait. I really can't. Appreciate that. Got to talk to potential coach of the year, 